Anytime our students say they're uncomfortable, we have to listen. Uncomfortable. That's how some students from Culver Middle School described their experience at Camp Tamarack near Subtle Lake last week. A group of sixth graders arrived for outdoor school Monday morning, and students from two different boys' cabins spoke with their teachers after meeting their high school-aged counselors. They had learned that their uh, counselor, um, who was physically female, identified as non-binary, and um, they just kept saying, how come we have to have a girl? I'm really uncomfortable. The students said they didn't feel comfortable undressing or sleeping in front of those counselors. Garber was unable to get a hold of the camp at that time and made the decision to bring the kids back home. We have to listen to our, our children, and these are 11 and 13 year olds. At the same time, we 100% supported the thought of bi non-binary students being at the camp. So. It was just a mix and there wasn't a good straight solution. Parents from Ben Lapine schools had also expressed concern via email and social media in the weeks prior regarding transgender counselors at the camp and alleged discussions about the surgical transition process. The camp's executive director, Charlie Anderson, shared a statement Tuesday which read in part, the recent decisions by Culver Superintendent Stephanie Garber to pull students from a program based upon someone's identity are unacceptable. He clarified in an email that there are private changing areas in every cabin and campers are made aware of this. Garber says the district is in strong support of LGBTQ plus students, and she made a choice she hoped would be best for everyone. We're going to continue our relationship with Camp Tamarack and look forward and learn from this. Carly Olson, Central Oregon Daily News.